Hey guys, I'm P Freak. Welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Last time we went back into the slumbering wheel to drop off the rusted sword and shield. Had a little fight with Hop, and then we ran into two people who assume that they're the descendants named Swordward and Shilbert, who had some really weird hair don'ts. Anyways, in this part, we're gonna continue on over to the next town to go to the Pokemon Research Lab because Sonia wanted to meet us there for something. We also found out that Sonia apparently became an official professor, so that's nice. While I was off screen, I did do what I said and went around to raid battles, so now everyone's up to level 75. So that should help us out with just the end of the story, make things go a little bit quicker. Anyways, the... Research center is over here. Research lab, whatever it's called. Pokemon Research Lab. Hello, anyone home? Who the hell are you? Hmm? Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey Jordan, glad you're here. Yeah, sorry it took so long. Who's this? She's my assistant. I've been so busy with research lately that I have to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing star that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. Does she have a name? Or are you just going to keep referring to her as your assistant? I really haven't been doing all that much. You're Jordan, the champion, right? I'm really glad to meet you. It's an honor, truly. I'm sure it is. You look generic as hell. Probably means you're not going to be that important to the plot. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want to have a look at. Uh, what are we looking at exactly? You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where Dynamaxing is possible. What the hell have you been up to? Jeez. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. Galar particles? Is that like Prim particles? But for Pokemon? Except like the complete reverse? And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Uh, so what does that mean? Basically, follow the readings from the power spot detector and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Okay, so you're basically saying that they're power spots and if I use my Pokemon near them, they would Dynamax? Sword Ward and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names and their bad hairdos, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Yep. Let's get back on topic though. I placed power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. Power spot detectors, access. Oh, okay, calm down. You look like an angry Twitter... ...typer, whatever. Uh, what are we looking for? Okay, something's going on over in Turf Field. I think that's it. Are we able to just fly there immediately? You can't fly there yet. Can I fly here? You can't fly there yet. Okay. Well, that was no point. Whoa, whoa, that's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon Stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus. You already caught it. Maybe it's something related to the Sword and Shield weirdos? You should go check it out, Jordan, since you're our snazzy new champion, after all. I've set up your town map to show where the strong particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. I guess a champion's work is never done. Now we have to be responsible for the entire region's problems. Fan freaking tastic. I'm so glad to be working with Professor Sonia, to have a doctor at such a young age. She's really an amazing person. But there's no, like, college or anything like that. Okay, whatever. And how young exactly are we talking about? She looks like she's in her 20s, so I guess that is pretty young. Anyways, let's fly in over to Turfield, shall we? Seems like something's going on over here. Maybe it is those Sword and Shield weirdos again. Whoops. Ran to the sign. Hello. Oh, Piers and... I forget your name. <laughs> I feel bad I forgot the first gym leader's name. But hey, what's going on? Hmm? You're... Hello there, champion. So, you came. What's been going on here? <laughs> How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Pierce. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. Interesting. That's an interesting little dynamic, but I guess it makes sense, considering that they need to be doing something for the jobs. The audience and staff already took shelter. And it sounds like it's still out there. 
Milo, that's his name. I'm an idiot. I got everyone who was seated in the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Must have much obliged, Hop. I expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we can count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Jordan. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head to the turf field stadium. Then I heard an uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone, so I had to help out. So, um, sorry, I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm. Those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to sell down first. I'd be glad for your help against such a tough-looking opponent, Champion Jordan. Um, Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, then let's head to the pitch. I'll lend a hand, too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit miffed they upstage me. <laughs> you come too, bro, of the old champion. I don't know how much I really can help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. Hop! We talked about this! Come on, don't be so down about yourself just because you didn't re become champion. There's so many other things you can be. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon'd be all lost about this. Though he does get actually lost a lot. <laughs> you coming? Um, okay. <laughs> Pierce has a point. Uh, Hop really needs to feel better about himself. Pierce might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother, after all. Alright, we should get going, too. Yeah, that is true. He is Marnie's older brother, so I guess he knows a thing or two about siblings not feeling too great about themselves. Yay, I got actual supports that are actually decent. S Serena. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to catch this thing. So it's just going to be another raid battle. Oh, and of course, you guys bring Grass Pokemon with you. Whatever. Let's just max flare this out. I realize I d forgot to turn back on animations again. So this battle should be go relatively quickly without any fancy animations. Sorry about that. Like I said, I only do it because it makes great battles go a lot faster. And when you're constantly resetting because your supports are just really, really bad. Eh, what, do you, what can you do? Unless we, like, one-shot this thing with a max player. Eh, we nearly did. That didn't seem too difficult. Okay. Well, that was easy. At least the Pokemon's back to normal now. Miguel, my It was all. It didn't even look fainted. The Dynamax Pokemon don't necessarily faint, so that'd be kind of pointless. Whew. Looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff. No matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. Also, Serena. Serena's just a weird-ass looking Pokemon. It's one of those that are supposed to look sort of human-like, but aren't. I can see you're just like a Dynamax. It still doesn't change, Piers. But there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere, and the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax ban in order to Dynamax, but... Seems there's some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Jordan? Um, I'm not sure, really. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's a bit early to start drawing any conclusions. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped up in Enigma. I'll make sure Turfield takes a good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out there. Thanks for that. Oh, and Jordan. If you should ever need my help, feel free to call me at any time. Hey, we got a rare leak card. Those, eh, well, as they imply, they're rare lead cards, so they're different than the normal lead cards we got throughout the adventure. They feature a different little picture, too, and sometimes they're really, really interesting, and they have nice little information in the back. I really should have been reading the lead cards as I got them throughout the main adventure, but it's kind of too late to start, so I might as well just not even add them. All right, then, follow me, little Serena, or maybe I'll add them at the end, or something like that. I don't know, they're fun little reads, but that's about it. Well, 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 looks like that Dynamax nonsense was calmed down. Well, 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 the champion, as I expected. What are you, what? Are you guys the shopkeepers now? Ah, it's you two, I knew you'd be back here. Give the rusted sword back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. <sighs> What's with these two? Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been evacuated. 
The normal rules simply don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who's this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange tastes and hairstyles. His entire is complete black and white. Nonsense, isn't it, older brother? You think I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? Speaking of hairstyles... But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let's try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zacian and Zamazenta? You, despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. And if you want to stop us, you do your best to chase after a splendid looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. You guys do look like ass. I will fully admit that. So you were the ones who caused all this. Stop! Calm down, Hop. You don't, you don't gotta act so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still... Ugh, fine. You're right. I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Is that, like, his version of smiling? Thanks for, to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax, and that they plan to continue doing it. Uh, we have to stop them, I guess. Yeah. There's no time to be hung up about getting back at the Rusted Sword. Jordan, Peters, we gotta stop those two. Alright, I guess that's what our job is right now, so just go stop a bunch of Dynamaxing Pokemon. It sure is convenient that Sona gave us this little tracker to see where all the Dynamaxing Pokemon are. I think, right? Okay, never mind, I guess I was wrong. Uh, Piers, where should we go now? How are those two make Pokemon Dynamax without any Dynamax bands? I don't know. Maybe something left over from Eternatus? Ha, ah, there you are, Jordan. Things are a right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galaparkle count around turf field should calm down, I started getting huge Galaparkle readings from Holbury and Moldesoak Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Ah, uh, sure. Let's exaggerate. What? A Dynamax Pokemon completely destroyed the stadium. Wait, Turfield Stadium is still here. Huh? The Sword and Shield wielders did it. Oh, Sonia. Well, that was amusing. Hmm? Hop and Pierce. Pierce, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spikemuth? I'm an ex gym leader. I can be where I want. It's not that weird. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Marnie took over now. More importantly, you said there was Dynamax Pokemon in other stadiums? Yes, I'm getting the same readings from Towns as I was in Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. Ah, uh, but the Spike Month Gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holbury Stadium and Most Oak Stadium. Ah, I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I could simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Jordan? Let's head to one of the stadiums. <laughs> that's the Spear Champion. Leave those Sword and Shield weirdos to me. I could poke around for the net sightings of them. We'll leave the researching to this, or um, Sonia, was it? We should get to this other stadiums and help out. I, okay, I really like this part, like this whole story here, because we get to see more of Piers. We get to see more of Piers' like, personality and caring, and he's actually a really nice character. I like him a lot. The issue is, after this, he kind of falls back into his more blandish sort of personality talking about how he doesn't use Dynamaxing or anything like that. But I guess in the meantime, I'll just enjoy the show. So, we now have our next objectives. We need to head to either Holbury or Motostoke. And we might as well do this in order of the gyms, the proper gym order. So, let's head on over to Holbury and go fix things here at the gym. I still enjoy this music a lot. I need to actually save this song somewhere. I like the soundtrack to Sword and Shield a lot. Hey, Nissa, what's up? I've noticed a lot of people draw art of you and Sonya together. Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Are the staff and spectators all right? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. Tch, leave us alone. I came here to help you out. And I'm grateful for that. That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I feel a lot more confident about it if you all join the battle. Let's do it. I forgot to switch out to my grass type. Whoops. Um, 
I guess we're just fighting this with spirit. Oh, never mind. The grass type been used to say anyways. I should be switching out to Gardevoir. Um, I guess so I don't waste a turn. Everyone's attack being dropped. I guess I'll just simply U-turn out or something like that. Yeah, see, none of my moves are going to be effective on fucking Gyarados. So U-turn into Ray. And now we should be able to take care of this thing. Thankfully, I think it doesn't matter if everyone, like, gets KO'd. We still should be able to beat this, no matter what. It's not like a normal raid battle where if you lose four times, you have to restart the entire thing, which is complete BS. Is Sop gonna Dynamax now? Yes, he is. And that's the other thing, your support's actually Dynamax. If you don't. Eh, I have a lot of issues with raid battles. So. And I forgot to turn on the battle animation again. Whoops. Okay, I guess I'll do that real quickly after we KO this thing. Easy. That's just like my catchphrase for this entire playthrough. It's just been easy. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon in Holbury Stadium until it can fully recover. Jordan, if you ever need my help, just let me know. And we get Nessa's rare lead card. I guess, yeah, I'll just show these at, like, the end of the story or anything like that. I suppose I'll see you later, then, hmm? Thank you so much for your help, truly. Alright, I guess next up is Motostoke. But actually, while we're in Holbury, there's actually one thing I want to show. This was something I was going to initially show when we were first here in Holbury, but I unfortunately could not show it until we became the champion. Uh, real quickly, though, I am going to switch over to Ted so we get ready for the next fight. And I am also going to turn these back on. So. We're going to head on back out into the main part of Holbury. And we're actually going to go over to, come on, right back here to the restaurant. You may remember earlier I was trying to actually talk to these guys to get something to happen. We had the chef over here was turned away from us. Now we can actually talk to him. Ah, <sighs> my delivery guy caught a cold and can't make it today. You're the one who dined here with the chairman, Rose, right? Would you please help us deliver some food? Sure, thank you, I truly appreciate it. As for where it's delivered food, sorry, I forgot to ask for an address. I heard a clicky clack sound from the phone. Maybe that's a clue as to where to go? This is a little side quest that we can do. We basically just have to deliver food over to the different houses that are over here. Now, they give you little tips as to each one. So, a clickety clack. If I had to guess, if I remember correctly, we do have a clickety clacky Pokemon, otherwise known as a tap dancing Pokemon, in. Mime Jr. Any Pokemon are bound to bite in my gears and that's shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still. So, not Mime Jr. Did I say Mime Jr.? I meant Mr. Mime. Galarian Mr. Mime. Maybe if we fight a Galarian Mr. Mime, that might have something to do with that, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait. First off, shiny. A full heal, not bad. Let's see, nope. Nothing that would be a clickety clackety here. Let's try up the road. Whoopers. I don't think whoopers clickety clack. Last house. Oh. Oh, are you delivering my food? Thank you for all your trouble. This restaurant's dishes are full of seafood and so delicious. Oh, clickety clack is the train. Okay. Right, the train station's literally right next to us, I think. I've already paid the restaurant, so I'll give you candy as a tip. Candy, huh? Ooh, XP candy. I'll take that, gladly. We already know what XP candies do, okay. But I'll gladly take any XP candy, no problem. Yeah, there's a station right here, so that makes sense. I didn't even realize there was a station here. Again, I just fly around everywhere, so it doesn't really occur to me. Unfortunately, that was just one XP candy, so. Anyways, with that all said and done, let's head on back over to the restaurant. Tell the guy that we delivered the food.
Thanks for delivering the food. Here, something for your trouble. And we get five nuggets, which is nice money, except we already have a lot of money on us. Nugget of the purest gold that gives off a lustrous gleam in the direct light. It can be sold at a high price at shops. Come back sometime for more work. We'll come back right now. I want to ask you to deliver some food again. Is that okay? Yep. All right, and what's your tip for this one? I don't know if it helps, but it sounded like Pokemon cry over the phone. Like Swirl. Oh, we did see a Swirlix. So I'm pretty sure it was a that Swirlix house. But that only had like two little girls in it. Uh, was it this one right here? No, it was not. I think it was this one over here then. But how could two little girls just get food? Oh, where the hell did you come from? Ah, I'm starving. Oh, I can smell the ocean. You're from the restaurant, aren't you? I've been drooling while waiting for this food. Thank you for delivering the food. Yeah, no problem. Wonder what kind of food it is. Definitely some sort of seafood. I want shrimp now. I saw a freaking commercial for Taco Time's uh, shrimp today. And I want shrimp now. I mean, I did have a salmon burger for lunch, but that was about it. Thanks for delivering the food. Here, selling for your trouble. And we get two big nuggets, which sell for more than regular big nugget or regular nuggets. Back again, I want to ask you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's this, what's the tool, to, tip? Wow, I can speak. Look for a green roof, but I wonder if there is such a house in Holbury. A green roof, you said. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, all these are orangish. So... I mean, I don't see any sort of green roof. Unless I'm missing something. Eh, all this fails. Trial and error. Nope. I think if we just see some random person, then it'll all work out. Nope. 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 Okay, so I don't think it's any of these houses, actually. Unless there's something up here that I missed. Hmm. Said a house with a green roof on it. Okay, that leads out of here. Unless. Oh, hold on. Here we go. This guy. You're delivering food. Well, hey, I'm the one who ordered it. The tail curry of this restaurant has a unique flavor. I love it. Say it to the manager for me. There we go. That's what he meant by green roof. It was easy to spot the green roof, wasn't it? Uh, sure. I guess you could say that. All right, we delivered your food. Do you have any more food for us to deliver? No, it does not. This is what I've been trying to get. The lucky egg, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's an egg filled with happiness that earns the holder extra experience in battle. Welcome, oh, it's you. Please relax and stay as long as you like. That's all we need to do for this quest. And that's what I was trying to do when we first started. Unfortunately, I don't think this boosts the amount of EXP you get from candies, but it does increase it from battles and captures. So if you're trying to like complete your Pokedex, it's a great thing to get. What sucks is that you get it so late in this game, while in other games you get it relatively... kind of early? Like I know in Jerishin 4 in Pokemon Platinum, the earliest you can get it is after the third gym. So it can be quite helpful then. But since we have all the EXP candies, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Anyways, I think I'm going to call it quits there. We went around to Turf Field and Holbury, stopped some Dynamaxing Pokemon that were Dynamax because of the two Sword and Shield weirdos. And we also get a side quest to get a really valuable item for most Pokemon games. Maybe not this one, but it's really valuable for other Pokemon games. But that's going to be it for this part. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, and follow me on all my social media links. All that will be in the description. That'll be it for this part, and I'll see you all next time, where we continue on to Mo's Stoke and stop the Dynamaxing Pokemon from raging there. I'll see you all then.